yo, it's your boy CJ, and guess what we back with? We back with another Gale update. Gale, 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 you're just an amazing person. I love Gale so much. Just her trolling is unbelievable. I'm counting her as a troll. I don't think she's a crazy nut. She's, it, it just doesn't come off as that. I feel like she's just trolling the community. But guys, she has another update for us. And it's pretty exciting. So guys, Gail, please take it away. Hi, you guys. It's time for me to make my weekly video. And I decided I'm going to officially start my campaign as an independent for United States president. Woo! We love you, Gail! The reason I'm doing this is because... Jesus. Jesus told me to stay out of politics because he said, Gail, you're, you're going to be on the ballot for the general election. And if your name's not there, they can write you in. So that's what you need to tell your followers. Jesus wants me to stay out of politics because I'm going to be on the ballot. But I decided since Jesus wants me to run for U.S. president, let me tell you that I've established a pay. I actually have a website. And I've established a page detailing my campaign platform. And, you know, I've been getting mail for the past six months verifying that I'm on the ballot in the run for U.S. This is such an accomplishment for her. She's been doing this for so many years. And guess what? She's going to conquer what she wants to do. She is going to become the president. Imagine what these people think of her. Like if any candidate like person seen this seen Gail, they would run away i think <laughs> Gail could scare a person out of the room like that president oh by the way one of my commentators made a comment about my clothes he said, wait commentary do you mean comments you somebody wrote a comment or did it from a commentary channel what are you talking about is somebody making fun of you on a comment commentary channel like this one or is it just somebody in your comments? You boomer, get your shit straight, Gail. Come on. She always wears the same clothes all the time. That's because she's so poor she can't afford to buy any clothes. Actually, it's not that I'm poor. It's that I'm lazy. I like These are my favorite outfits. I've got a closet full of clothes. But I just hate to do laundry. And I have to do the Gail commandments. So what I do is I just wear what I'm real... I like my comfy clothes. And I wear... Um, I just wear what I'm comfortable in. It gives me less laundry to do, so it's just a matter of laziness. Gail, 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 you're feeding into the trolls. That's one thing you should not do as a troll yourself. You should not, you should know. Feeding a troll just gives them a lot more ammunition. So try not to talk about other people's comments or any commentary channels. Okay, Gail? Just a tip from me to you, okay? I've been getting mail, and I've been laughing, thinking, wow! Somebody's put me on the ballot saying you even sounds surprised there. <laughs> they said, Congratulations on running for president for, for running for politics and I thought I did this. I think my men put me on the ballot. So I'm on the ballot. Well no shit your men put you up. Who who do you think I am? I got you, Gail. I'm one of your men. You know, don't come on. Of course we put this up. Who else will we who else will we put up for president? Gail, you're our number one choice, duh! I've been getting mail, mail for the past six months telling me that. So I'm starting my campaign. You can vote for me as U.S. President in the general election. If my name's not on the ballot, you can write me in. Wow, wow, wow. This would do so much for all of us, especially for the men that have vagina butts. Gail, you have more authority if you're the president. You could do so much. Like, think about that. You won't have to deal with another problem about your men having vagina butts. That's, we've solved this. I want to extend an invitation to some political candidates that I like to endorse me for US president. I'm asking Bernie Sanders, Tulsi Gabbard, and Donald Trump to endorse me for US president. Bernie senior videos, he have a heart attack and I don't think he'd be running anymore. <laughs> The guy's too old, but I'm cheering for Bernie anyway, but oh my goodness. You give the poor guy a heart attack, Gail. 
Um, if they choose to do this, that means their name's going to be on the ballot with their name and then my name next to them in parentheses. So if you see their name on the ballot like this, it means if you vote for them, you're really voting for me. Oh, so if we don't see your name, but if we see theirs, just pretend like your name's there? Oh, okay, Gail. Is that one of your commandments too? Just pretend like we see your name? Okay, okay I kind of see where you're getting at, Gail. I kind of see where you're getting at. They just want to, you know, like give a personal endorse endorsement on the ballot. But everything she does must honor my current laws as set forth on this page that I'll have a link to underneath this video. She, she means business. She's got the link down ready to go. Our girl Gail's on a roll. Donald Trump, if he endorses me, will be my campaign advisor and my press sec secretary to deal with the press. He's really good at that. Yeah, he is really good at the press. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The only, the people that she said, he's the most likely to endorse you. Trump is a, we're not getting into that, okay? According to an IQ test administered via a Church of Gale scanner in 2012, I have the highest IQ of any woman on the planet, so I certainly have the intelligence re required to be American president. Gail's just like, I got the scanner, don't worry. <sighs> Smartest girl right over here. She you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. I want to see the scanner, Gail. I want to see how smart I am. Come on, give it to the public. Leak it to the public. I'm what you call a reluctant leader. I take this job because there's no better person than me for the job. Well, duh. You're Gail. And what we currently have going on in politics is not as good as me. I care too much about the welfare of the American people to not do this job. Like I said, you're just such a pillar to this community. It really enlightens my heart just to know that there is a person like you out there, Gail. Thank you, Gail. You the best. We are at a critical point in our history where if I don't do this job, we're going to either have a sociopath or a psychopath as U.S. president because Lori McBride has rigged both the Democrat and the Republican Party. Well, we already had one of those in there for four years, haven't we? <laughs> I'm not American, so I can't say that, but still. Tune in to that channel to get the real news. From what I understand, we've replaced all the current politicians and news reporters and mainstream news with their automatons. So the only place to accurately get the news is zero zero on cable, Gabriel Tana Fox News. Huh? What's automatons? I'll, I'll do a quick look. Okay, let's find out what that is. Ah, I see. The type of government I support is a constitutional monarchy. I'm literally half King David and half Catherine the Great. So this may explain why I prefer this form of government for the U.S. Japan actually made a huge mini-series about my royal ancestors in Japan who gave me my Catherine the Great genes. And I'll have a link to that underneath this video. I'm working on putting English subtitles to it and we're almost done. It's really a very good production. It should win Oscars and Emmys if uh, Lori wasn't controlling Hollywood. Wow, 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 wow. Gail has that egotistical about ego. I don't know if she's egotistical or if that's just her character. I don't know what she's playing. Like, does she have that ego in her that makes her say that? Or does she want to make the character have the ego? I don't know what's, what she's over-exaggerating or what's telling the truth, if she's telling the truth in this all. It's really surprising how long she's gone with this act for. It's pretty amazing. Lots of people would stop after the first year or two if they went that far. Like, this girl has been doing it since the 90s, people. Since the 90s. Like, honestly, that's incredible. I am an idealist like an INFP, and am in politics because I believe in my cause and for no other reasons. I am not a power-hungry person, just a humble person judging. That's, that's, that's why I don't care about 
wearing different outfits every time I come up because I'm just a humble, down-to-earth person. We know, Gail. Don't worry, Gail. You don't have to explain that to us. We understand. Who believes in my cause. John Lennon was an INFP like me, and his dreams for a world of peace are my dreams. Though I consider myself an evangelical, I'm thoroughly against imposing any religion on the people. People should feel free to choose whatever ideology they want to believe in. That's awesome how she put that in there because I haven't heard her say that. And I think that's awesome how she's trying not to brainwash people to believe in her religion or whatever she believes in. It's good how she mentions that just in case there's people out there. I think she did that for that reason. Unless, I don't know what other reason why she'd say that. But... I respect her a little bit more for that. Or ascribe to. I love John Lennon's song, Imagine, for this reason. I'm not against the Ten Commandments being posted anywhere, but I feel that other belief systems should feel free to have a representation as well, as long as what they support is not terrorism. Fuck that Ten Commandments system. I think I'd rather follow the Ten Gale system. You know, Gale's, Gale sees... Gail's a straight G. G is in God. <clears throat> dropping those bombs. That's Lori McBride dropping those bombs. She needs to stop. <clears throat> That's death penalty what she's doing. What bombs? What bombs is she dropping? Has she explained in other videos? She has tons of videos I haven't seen. But like, what, what bombs? Explain yourself a little bit more, Gail. We need to know what bombs they're dropping. <clears throat> we should leave the gun laws as they are. We should regulate the tech giants, take away their monopoly, and they should be fined when they attack freedom of speech. That's my law. I have voting laws to ensure that Lori McBride does not sabotage the voting process. <coughs> She's dropping those bombs. What bombs? What bombs are you talking about, Gail? Ah. Ah. I feel that Lori McBride Jesuits who are dangerous sociopaths and psychopaths should be executed. Sheesh! Execution is a big word there, Gail. <laughs> You're sounding crazier and crazier by the second now. Sheesh! I actually won the 2016 presidential election for Donald Trump because we thought he was dead at that time. What did I miss? Wait. You thought he was dead? Wait, what did I miss? I'm missing so much. There's bombs. There's Donald Trump being dead at one point. Man, I need to catch up on all of this stuff. Like, this this is lucrative stuff right here. Like, I need to do some more research, apparently. And then we, uh, we re reinstated him as president when we saved him from Angelina Ballerina on January 6, 2017. Why'd you need to save him? What? What? Man, sorry guys, I can't explain this to you. I really wish I could. I don't even know if you could explain it. But maybe there's other videos from her past where she does explain this kind of stuff. I don't know. Let's just get into this more. <coughs> Real. Another thing. <coughs> Them bombs are coming again. Them bombs. Vladimir Putin is on my marriage list. We are in a military alliance with Russia, and I absolutely will not tolerate anyone in my cabinet treating Russia as our enemy in any form. Under my rule, it is, it's a death penalty violation of conspiracy law to create human clones and believe- She really likes her execution and her death penalty. Sheesh. And maybe she shouldn't become the president, Gail. Calm her down, Gail. Maybe Lori McBride has been going to town with this and has been stealing Brent Spiner's identity using a Brent, Sp <coughs> Brent Spiner clone. So anyways, that's it, folks. I'm just officially announcing my run for United States president. Oh, ignore that stupid phone. I get stuff on my phone from Donald Trump all the time telling me, please don't send me money. And money is very, very limited. And I do the Gale commandments and I only spend money on food and bills but I have zero debt. I'm able to save $100 a month because I am so frugal. I cook everything from scratch, um, hair. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm eating almost vegetarian because that saves me money on groceries. 
And by having zero debt and um, paying all my bills on time, even though I did have to file for bankruptcy in 2002, right after my divorce, because I had never worked and I wasn't able to get a job, so I, and I took out credit cards and stuff, my current credit score is over 800, simply by doing the Gale Commandments. You say, well, how can you run for president when you don't have money? Well, my men will get them. They will be my, with Trump as my campaign advisor, because I think he's going to be in on this. Yeah, I won in 2016. I'll probably win again in 2020. So I'm starting my campaign. I won't be doing a typical campaign. In other words, I'm not going to invest as much into it as most people do running for president. But I wanted you to know that I have officially launched my campaign for the general election. I'm getting a head start. And uh, my name is going to be on the ballot, so vote for me. I'm the best one. I Basically, if I think Tulsi Gabbard and Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders may agree to put their name on the ballot with my name in parentheses. So you'll, if you vote for me or any, any, any other politician on the ballot who has my name in parentheses after them, you'll be voting for me. I'm probably going to do fine. I'm probably going to win in 2020, which will be good for this country. Lori McBride, you are not going to win, man. None of your candidates are going to be U.S. president. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my stupid scar, stupid scar, stupid sarcasm. And yeah, I hope you have, I hope you were entertained. And thank you for joining me today. I'm going to go rest. And I'm a dip. Peace out.